the role of graphite is to be a structure and in the structure we can then put control rods and these go in these channels and in these channels we put the fuel and in the core we've got 3,000 of these fuel bricks and they're all joined together with a, a keying system and this keying system keeps them all interlocked with each other and so what happens over time is we take the fuel out of the fuel channels and we go and put a camera down and that allows us to inspect the bricks to see what is happening and changing over time. Well, what, what happens is cracks form in these fuel bricks. They, they start at the outside and they come into the bore where we can see them when we put the camera in and they run the full height of the brick. The crack's about a millimetre wide, two or three millimetres, so essentially the brick is still intact with just this single crack and we're not expecting these bricks to crack at all. The, the consequence of this cracking of these fuel bricks is we, we start to change how they're interconnected but you can see here even with this brick just connected by one of the keys it doesn't move. So, so why are we interested? Well what we're interested in, in an earthquake if it did move the core then it could move further than a normal operation because normal operation isn't a problem and the consequence of the movement is we could start to distort the channels enough that the control rods might not go in and if the control rods don't go in then we want to make sure we can shut the reactor down and the way we can do that is we've all we've put in the control rods that are quite articulated so they will go in in a distorted core and we also have a nitrogen system that also gives us another way to shut down the reactor if necessary so, so, so how can we be confident in what we've done? Well, one example is we've built a quarter scale model of this core and put it on a shaker table and subject it to the earthquake. And we've measured the distortions and shown they were really quite small, even with lots of cracked bricks. We've also done some computer analysis to understand what's going on. And that modeling and that experiment gives us the confidence we understand the state of the core. We also then get peer review groups to come and look at what we've done and this includes universities, uh, international groups, the, the independent regulator come assess the models and the experiments and the inspection data. Underpinning it all is a nuclear safety culture and if we're not 100% sure it's safe we won't operate the reactors.